Hi there, I'm Ron Waterman, the founder and CEO of StorySmart, a nationwide service that empowers you to have your story professionally told, but you own it as though you did it yourself. Today, I'm talking to you, the PR professional, about how to create an effective video storytelling strategy for your clients. This is a, a video companion to a written blog post that I encourage you to read um, that goes into to some detail about how you can do this. Um, and you know, I'll start with, and I'm just going to dive right in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume I have you at hello on that you should be doing video storytelling. If I do not, uh, and you are not doing video storytelling, I'm glad that you're watching the video. Uh, because I think if you're not offering video storytelling as a service to your clients, you're committing PR malpractice. And the reason I believe that is because more media is created by the masses than mass media. And your client's audience can be targeted directly. And you know the media relations stuff that you do is, is wonderful and it's important, um, but it's not the only way in which you, you can help your client reach their audience. They should be sharing their story directly themselves on their website um, and through their social media. So that's the, that's the point of doing uh, video storytelling. But really, you want to start with, all right, well, what's the right process? How do we put a strategy in place? So step one is the planning process. And I probably have you at hello on that. Um, and I know you probably already go through a planning process with any campaign that you're working with a client on. You're identifying key messages, you're writing talking points, you're doing all of those things. Well, that's the process that you want to put in place with your video storytelling plan. You want to create a written document that identifies, all right, who's the target audience? Um, how are we going to reach them? What content um, will they care about? What stories are we going to tell? Uh, and then how are we going to create those stories? And, and then you create some ways in which measuring your success. You know, how, how will we know if we were successful? You identify all of that in a written plan. Step two is really to create your content. And I'm a firm believer that the traditional model of production is broken uh, when it comes to what I call sustained storytelling. And I'll, and I'll say why here. When I talk about sustained storytelling, what I mean is that you need to commit, your client needs to commit to telling their story on a consistent basis. One and done doesn't cut it. They need to be sharing their story consistently on social media and through their website blog. So how do you do that? How do you put something in place that you can do that on a sustained basis and make it affordable? Um, and what I would suggest to you is the traditional model of scripted storytelling, which is I think a combination of Hollywood meets Madison Avenue, it's very top heavy, it takes a long time, um, and it costs a lot of money. That model doesn't really lend itself well to what I call authentic storytelling uh, for two reasons. One, it's expensive and, and cumbersome. Uh, and two, ordinary people do not do scripts well. Uh, people reading scripts off of teleprompters or memorizing lines often do not come across as authentic. Now, if you hire actors and do it, great. But if you're doing it too polished, then it's inauthentic, right? People can tell that it's a, basically an ad. You're selling, not telling. Um, and the key to storytelling is telling. So when it comes to creating your uh, video stories, I'm a firm believer that you should hire a journalist, filmmaker, um, or a former television reporter or at least a producer that knows how to conduct an interview on camera. The interview model is the key. If you're having a conversation with somebody, asking them questions, and they're just honestly answering those questions, you can edit that piece into a beautiful video story um, that comes across as authentic because, well, it is authentic. So anyway, so that's the second piece, creation. The third piece is measurement. Um, because you have a plan, because you've created your content and you've, you've executed, you've shared it, you, you know, you've, whether you just decided that you're sharing it via email or uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, um, however it is that you're sharing your videos via the website, whatever. You know, the great thing about the digital space today is you can measure it and you can identify, well, did that work? Did, you know, how long did people watch the video? How long did they stay with it? Um, did it connect? Did it, you know, was, was it designed to increase, you know, the number of email addresses that you get or sales or anything like that? You know, the beautiful thing is that today you can create 
uh, key performance indicators and measure whether or not you're successful. And when you measure, you can adjust, right? Like you can identify, well, that's sort of working, but not entirely. We need to make this adjustment here. So that's the, that's the third piece of, uh, of an effective strategy for your clients. So that's basically it. You can read more about it in the written blog post. If you have questions, I encourage you to reach out directly to me. Uh, and until next time, stay story smart.